Math 98 Exam Review, Spring 2015, Part 2. You must be able to perform operations such as this one, subtraction. To subtract these two polynomials, the first thing you have to do is remove the parentheses. In the first set of parentheses, there is no sign preceding the parentheses, which means it's a positive. That means we can simply drop the parentheses off of the first polynomial. In the second set of parentheses, however, it is preceded by a subtraction. So we're going to change this to add and then the opposite sign for each of the terms. The opposite of negative 3x squared is positive 3x squared. The opposite of 4x is minus 4x. The opposite of minus 2 is plus 2. So we've now changed this to add the opposite and no longer need the parentheses. Next, we'll reorder using the commutative property in order to get the like terms together. So the 2x squared will go with the 3x squared and notice the sign or the addition sign goes with it. The minus 3x and the minus 4x will go together. The plus 8 and the plus 2 will go together. The first two are like terms, the next two are like terms, and the final two are like terms. Then all we have to do is add or subtract the coefficients as appropriate. 2x squared plus 3x squared is 5x squared. Same signs, add, keep the signs. Minus 3x and minus 4x. We could change these to add negative 3x and add negative 4x. Same signs, add, keep the sign, write it as a subtraction. Positive 8 plus positive 2 is plus 10, so this is your final answer. Now we're going to add these two polynomials. Again, look in front of the parentheses to see if there's a sign. If the sign is not there, it's implied to be a positive, so you can drop the parentheses. The second set of parentheses also has a plus sign. Since it's positive, we can drop the parentheses. That will give us minus 4x squared minus 7x plus 10 plus 4x squared minus 5x minus 9. Now, once again, we'll reorder so that the like terms are together. Putting the x squared terms together first, negative 4x squared and positive 4x. Subtract 7x or minus 7x and minus 5x are going to be next. Positive 10, subtract 9, going to be at the end. Now we'll combine these like terms. A negative 4 and a positive 4 is a 0x squared, so we do not write an x squared term. Minus 7x minus 5x, same signs. We could rewrite as add the opposite, plus a negative 7x, plus a negative 5x, or simply combine the terms, same signs add, I'm going to get a 12x, but it's going to be a, a negative. Positive 9, I'm sorry, positive 10 subtract 9 is positive 1. So this is your final answer, negative 12x plus 1. Here's the operation of multiplication. We're going to multiply multiply a binomial times a binomial. To do this, we're going to use the FOIL rule. We'll multiply the first two. That's x and 3x. We'll multiply the outer two. That's an x and a minus 4. I'll write the minus 4 first. Then the inside two, positive 5 and positive 3x is positive 5 times 3x. Then the last two, positive 5 times negative 4. Now we'll multiply each of these and combine like terms. x times 3x is 3x squared. Subtract 4x plus 5 times 3x is 15x, and positive 5 times negative 4 is negative 20, or subtract 20. Add a negative 20 or subtract a 20. So now we'll combine those inner two terms to get our middle term of the polynomial that is the answer. 3x squared plus 11x minus 20. Since these were opposite signs, we subtracted. We have more positives than we do negatives. Therefore, our sign is going to be positive 11x, and this is your final answer.
Now we're going to multiply when written in this form. Quantity 2x minus 9 squared. That means we're going to multiply 2x minus 9 times itself. Squared means to take this base as a product times itself. We could also use a shortcut rule where you square the first one, then you multiply twice the product of the first and last, and square the last. But I think this is the safest way for you to go. Just write it out and fold it out. First times first, 2x times 2x. Outer times inner, there's a minus 9 and a 2x. I'll put the sign for the minus 9 there. Inner, minus 9 times 2x, and the last two, minus 9 and minus 9. Multiplying the first two, 2 times 2 is 4, x times x is x squared, minus 18x minus 18x, and then minus times a minus or a negative times a negative will give us a plus 81. Now we need to combine the inner terms. We get 4x squared minus 36x plus 81, and this is our final answer. Last kind of operational problem you might encounter. It is a division problem. Divide and simplify. This fraction bar means to divide. And it means that 6x to the third is a common denominator for each of the terms. If you start to reduce or cancel out, you will miss this. So rewrite it so that 6x to the third is the denominator for both terms. Then reduce each one separately. 6 into 12 goes 2 times x to the third into x to the third is 1. 2 times 1 is 2. 6 goes into 30 five times. The 30 is on top. The 5 has to be on top. x goes into x cubed x squared times. More x is on the bottom. x cubed is on the bottom. x squared has to be in the denominator. This is your final answer.